Hi, it's Chris Sanders here from Worldwide Salon Marketing New Zealand. Don't you just hate it when a customer stops giving you their money? Because it more than likely means they're giving it to one of your competitors. Well, don't just sit back thinking, woe is me, another client has gone forever. Do something about it and get them back. In this tutorial, I'm going to share with you one of our most powerful strategies. A system that for members of our Inner Circle program has brought in tens of thousands of dollars. We call it our Raise the Dead campaign and it's designed to bring lapsed clients back into the salon. In this tutorial, I'm going to take you through the different aspects of a Raise the Dead campaign. For example, why do a Raise the Dead campaign? What exactly do you offer to get those clients back in? Who do you send it to? And how exactly does the system work? Firstly, why does a client leave the salon in the first place? It could be for a number of reasons. They may have moved to a different area, lost their job and are looking for a new one before they come back. Maybe they were unhappy with an aspect of the service they received from your salon, or perhaps they're pushing daisies. Aren't all these reasons things that you need to know without just making assumptions about why a client hasn't come back. A Raise the Dead campaign helps to identify these things, clean up your database and improve your overall service. So why do we do a Raise the Dead campaign? Well think about it. How much is a client worth to your salon every year? $500? $1,000? $1,500? Or more perhaps? Let's say on average a client is worth $1,000 a year to your business and you did a Raise the Dead campaign to 100 clients and from that one campaign you got 10 lapsed clients back. That's a potential increase in turnover for the year of $10,000. Not bad for 100 letters and very cost effective marketing. So here's how a Raise the Dead campaign works. There's a number of different Raise the Dead letter template designs in the members only website. However, as you'll see, the letters I have chosen are from the Rupert the Dog series. There's no rule that says marketing can't be fun, but there is a rule that says it can't be boring. And half the battle in any marketing is to get your target market to take notice. And how often do people get a letter from a dog? Not very often. It's designed to first get attention, and to second, get action, and to make them chuckle at the same time. Of course, you can change these to use pictures of your own dog, cat, ferret, or whatever pet you may have or want to invent. And you can modify them in lots of other ways. So think laterally. If you have a small child, you can make the letter from him or her. There's lots of ways to skin this cat. So what do you offer in a Raise the Dead campaign? Well, in this particular Rupert the Dog letter, you'll see that it offers a free glamour makeover, cut and colour, worth X dollars. Plus the package value adds a treatment valued at X dollars, an eyebrow tidy valued at X dollars, and a tingling scalp massage valued at X dollars. That gives the package a lot more perceived value. But make sure to tailor the package and the values to suit your salon. So why such an amazing package for free, I can hear you asking. Well, you're trying to do everything possible to bring that client back into the salon. Essentially you're bribing them so it works for both parties. It's a win-win. And always keep in mind what they will be worth to you over the course of the year. Don't focus on the cost of the treatment you're giving away. Other ways to bribe your clients back into the salon are to offer a similar package to that previously talked about, but put a very low price point on it. For example, a cut and color package worth $180 for just $39. Or to include a $50 voucher that they can use on any services in the salon. Marketing is all about testing and measuring so work out what works best for your salon. And with any of these options, you must always have an expiry date or a limited number of packages available because you want the clients to react now, not in six months or a year. And tell them how much the package is worth and what they're saving. And be sure to include a strong call to action. Call the salon now on your phone number. Once you've decided on the package, you must then decide who you're going to send the Raise the Dead Letter campaign to. Generally, if a client has not been to your salon for three months or more, they're a lapsed or lost client, so you need to focus on these people. There are two ways I've found to be very effective when doing a Raise the Dead Letter campaign. Firstly, you could go through and pick a specific group of clients. 
Let's say clients who you haven't seen for three to six months. Then each month you can choose a different list. For example, clients you haven't seen for six to nine months, nine to twelve months, twelve months to two years. Generally the further you go back the smaller your response will get, but it's still worth the effort to go back at least two years. This way of doing it means you are sending out to a bulk group of clients at any one time, so you can expect a bigger response. The other way is to each week send out a raise the dead letter to any clients who have just passed a point where they've not visited your salon for three months. For smaller salons who are perhaps one man bands or have just a small number of staff, this can be a more manageable way of doing it. Each week you may just be sending out a handful of letters, but over the course of the year it really mounts up. A quick tip before embarking on a campaign like this is to make sure your rebooking training is up to speed. There's no point in getting all these clients back in for a free something if they just walk out the door at the end. And have a range of services to upsell these clients to when they call for their appointment. For example, would you like to add a mini manicure for just $30 while your colour is processing? And because these clients are getting a free or low priced package, then they will feel like they have money to burn. So it's a great retail opportunity for you. Don't let any opportunity to make more money from these clients pass you by. So you've written your letters, decided on an offer and a list of clients to send the Raise the Dead letters to. Now it's time to send the campaign. So how does the system work? Send your first letter out on a chosen date. It's generally good to send it out on a Friday so that it arrives with your lost client on the Monday. Then exactly one week later, send the second letter out to any clients who have not responded yet. And exactly one week after that, send the final letter or postcard to any clients who have still not responded. You can keep track of who has or hasn't responded either through your computer system or manually keep track using the templates from the website. So why three letters to these clients and not just one? Well a sequence of letters is a very clever marketing technique that very few businesses use or even know about. Imagine when you get a bill from the power or phone company. The first letter always says, your $100 bill is now due. Pay it by X date and we'll give you a prompt payment discount of $10. At this stage, a few people react, but many people simply ignore or forget about the bill and put it to one side. A week later, you'll get a letter saying, you've missed your $10 prompt payment discount and your $100 bill is now due. At this stage, more people react and pay the bill. Then a week later you get a final letter in a funny coloured envelope saying, pay your bill today or we'll cut your phone or power off. At this stage, most of the people who haven't yet responded will react and pay their bill. The same principle applies to your raise the dead letter campaign and you'll more often than not find that your biggest response comes from the second and third letters. So to not send these letters is like flushing money down the toilet. That brings to an end this tutorial on how to put together a Raise the Dead campaign. If you need any help implementing your Raise the Dead campaign, then contact one of your local worldwide seller marketing coaches. The numbers are below. Best of luck and we can't wait to hear about all your successes.